Humanity is very fortunate. Our home, planet Earth, has been swinging in and out of ice ages and warm periods over the past million years. And it's only the past 12,000 years when we left the last ice age that we enter a unique equilibrium of planet Earth, the Holocene, that has enabled the world to develop as we know it. It's not too cold and not too warm. In fact, it's staying within the narrow band of a maximum temperature variability of plus minus one degree Celsius. And the drama is that now we have so much scientific evidence that we're pushing humanity out of this Goldilocks equilibrium. This is a crisis where we can no longer exclude risks of catastrophic tipping points. We've shifted over from being this small world on a big planet to today being a big world on a small planet. We know that we are facing at least one meter sea level rise this century, that heat waves and droughts and floods are critical threats that will occur, which in turn risks stability in societies that can tip over into refugee crises across the world. We need to bend the curve of emissions no later than 2020 to stand a chance to surf down an incredibly steep slope of reducing emissions and leading to a decarbonized world economy by mid-century. But the good news is we're starting to see the first indications that the exponential rise of emissions is starting to level off. We're starting to see that renewable energy systems are entering the rapid phase of exponential adoption in the world. We can see that delivering on Paris, bending the curve can go from a necessity to also being something that is doable. Now, all of this translates into a global carbon law. For us to succeed with a decarbonized desired future for humanity, we need to half emissions every decade. And this halving emissions every decade becomes a golden rule which is applicable at any scale as an individual or a household or a company or nation, which then needs to add up to the world as a whole. This is the golden rule that can enable us to stay in the Goldilocks equilibrium. It is what gives us a chance to succeed in transforming to a stable and resilient planet that can support the development of humanity on Earth.